Hi, this is Eric White. In this screencast, I'm going to explore locked spreadsheets and locking cells and how to generate spreadsheets with locked cells using the OpenXML SDK. First thing I'm going to do is explore the feature of Excel that allows you to lock cells. So first of all, I'm going to create a spreadsheet. If you want to lock cells in a spreadsheet, what you have to do is first unlock all cells and then lock the specific cells that you want to lock. So if I enter one and two in there and I'm going to lock cell A1 and I'm going to leave cell B1 unlocked. If I just go to the review tab and I say to protect the sheet, then actually what happens is every cell is locked at that point in time. So the state of each cell is in fact locked when you create a spreadsheet if you protect the sheet. So the first thing to do is come over here and go to Format Cells, go to Protection and Unlock All Cells. Now that we've unlocked all cells, I can come here and I can lock that cell then I can go to review, protect the sheet. Now the sheet is protected, I can come over here, I can change that cell, I cannot change that cell. So that's the behavior we want to have. We want to control which cells are locked when we protect the sheet. I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to create another Excel spreadsheet. and I'm going to type 1 and 2. Save that and close it. Copy it and paste it. So the first thing I'm going to do is unlock all cells and see what the changes in markup is when I do that. So I'll go Format, Cells, Protection, set them all to unlocked. Save that. Now I'm going to the open XML SDK productivity tool. I'm going to compare files. I'll compare the unlocked to locked one. We can see that there are changes to three parts. First thing, as usual, core doesn't have anything interesting for us. Styles does. We can see down here that cell XFS contains now one additional XF element under there and this additional element says that cells are unlocked. If I go back to the package and then I view the differences in sheet 1 what I can see is that two cells now have this attribute S equal to 1. If I come over to the OpenXML standard and look at the cell markup, I see that S is a style index. The style records are stored in the styles part. Now if I go back here to the styles part, this makes better sense. Obviously that's a uh, zero based index and both cells have the format of the second XF in cell XFS. Now I'm going to take locked1 and copy it and make another spreadsheet called lock2. Let's open it. And I am going to lock A1. And once again, I'm going to use the Open XML SDK productivity tool to compare those files. Now I'm going to compare locked one to locked two. Now let's look at sheet one first this time. I can now see that cell A1 has its style set to two, and cell B1 has its style remaining as set to 1. Let's go back and look at the package, and go to the styles part and look at the difference. And now in the styles part I can see that there are now three styles that can be applied. 
if the style is set to 1, then that means the cell will not be locked. And if the style is set to 2, that means the cell will be locked. Last, I'm going to copy and paste locked to and rename it to locked 3. And in locked 3, I'm going to go to review and I'm going to protect the sheet. So now you can see I cannot change cell A1, but I can change cell B1. Let's change it back to 2 so that we have no differences in the spreadsheet other than that the spreadsheet is now protected. Let's go compare those two files. Now let's look at sheet1.xml and the only difference now is this addition of an element sheet protection. To review, let's open lock3.xlsx in Visual Studio. If we look at styles.xml, we need to set up the appropriate XF elements under cell XFS. In addition, we need to go into the worksheet. We need to set the style as appropriate as an index into the style sheet. And we need to set this sheet protection element in sheet1.xml. Thanks for watching.